or like <laughs> Hello, I'm Anissa Najwa. I'm Alisa Emilia. I'm Hannah Maisara. My name is Farisa Dia. I'm Nushiz Ratulain. My name is Ale Mahira. So today, we're going to talk about the application of Bernoulli's principle in daily life. So, what is Bernoulli's principle? Bernoulli's principle states that when the velocity of a fluid increases, the pressure in the fluid decreases and vice versa. The experiment that we will show you guys are first, racing car, second, balloons, and third, spray bottle. So let's get started with the racing car. Have you seen how fast the Formula One car can move? The question is how? It is based on Bernoulli's principle and car spoiler. First, we should know what is the function of a car spoiler. The function of a car spoiler is to reduce the lifting force. When the car is moving, the wind speed at the bottom of the spoiler is higher than the wind speed at the bottom of the car. According to the Bernoulli's principle, an area of high velocity fluid will have a low pressure of fluid. So, there is a difference in air pressure in the two areas. The pressure difference between the upper and lower areas of the spoiler will produce a downforce. Downforce acts as a load on the car parts to prevent the car from being lifted and adds grip to the tires when the car is driven fast. Let's continue with our second experiment which is the balloon. These are the all items that you will be needing in doing this experiment. Balloon, straw, scissor, wooden stick, tape and string. Blow up two balloons, make sure they are in the same size. Put tapes at the end of the two balloons to prevent the string from moving. You may attach the two strings to the wooden stick, make sure they are in the same height. So what really happened during the balloon experiment? When I blew air between the balloons, the higher pressure on the outer side of the balloon pushed them together. Wait, do you guys realize what happened when I blew on the outer side of one of the balloons? When I blew on the outer side of the balloon that created low pressure on the outside, the balloon will be pushed to the outer side from the high pressure in the middle. So let's proceed with the last experiment which is the spray bottle. Just keep spraying, just keep spraying. How can Bernoulli's principle be applied in spray bottles? In the case of pump spray bottle, when the plunger is pushed in, the air flows at a high velocity through a nozzle. The flow of air at high velocity creates a region of low pressure above the plastic tube. The higher pressure of the atmospheric air acts on the surface of the liquid, causing it to rise up the plastic tube. The liquid comes in contact with high-speed air, breaks into droplets and then leaves the top of the plastic tube through the nozzle as a fine spray. So that is the end of our video. Thank you for watching.